Hello there, this is Nikki, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use a data merge in InDesign. Data Merge is a tool that allows you to bring in data from an external source, such as a spreadsheet, and you can use that data to create the same design multiple times with that information. This is really handy for business cards, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use this feature to create gift cards. This is something that I use in my online shop to be able to create print versions of my gift cards that can be redeemed online or offline in person. So this is a handy tool and let's spin up InDesign and get started. We're gonna start by creating a new document. This is just going to be a standard letter document, eight and a half by 11. I'm going to grab a frame and this is going to be three and a half inches by two inches, a standard card size to get us going. And I'm going to then take an image, one of my art designs, drop it in as the background for this frame. And then we are going to position this so that it fills the frame proportionately. I'm gonna drag it up into the corner here. And now I want to make this a little bit darker. So we are gonna drag another rectangle. This is the same size, three and a half by two. We are going to get rid of the stroke and we are going to fill this with a purple color. And I'm just going to drag the sliders here to find the color that we want. This is just gonna give it a little bit more contrast when we add text to our gift card in a minute. I'm gonna drag this here and drag the image on top. And if you do what I do all the time, I accidentally grabbed it instead of the frame. And now I'm gonna fix that and put it on top. And right click here and we are going to send this to the back. So arrange and send to the back. That way the color is on top. And now we're going to apply an effect and just drop the transparency 50%. That's going to give it a nice preview here where we have just a color wash of that purple, which will give us that contrast we want when we add text. So now we're gonna grab the text tool and I'm gonna type out gift card. This is going to be the title, that way people know what this is. And we want this to be a white color and I'm going to change the font as well to a nice kind of simple sans serif modern font here. And then we're going to go ahead and all caps this as well. The font by default had it, but if you're choosing a different font, you can make it all caps too. Change that color to white. And now we need to increase the size of this so that it fills the space a little bit better. So I'm just going to bring this up like so. And then we want to write justify this so that it stays to the right of our gift card. And then I'm going to position it on the background, just so it's a little off center, not quite in the center. And now we need our gift card number. This is the dynamic information that's gonna come in from our spreadsheet. So same style, a nice sans serif font, and we want that to be white. And I'm going to put a placeholder card number here so that we can see as we're styling and positioning, it's not just an empty box. So I can align that with my gift card text so it all aligns to the right. And then the next item that I'm gonna add is the value. So I'm just holding Alt Shift to drag up the same style as our gift card text, adding the 50 here. And I want this to stand out a little bit. So I'm going to take a box and we're gonna make it just a magenta color, pulling from the colors of our base design. Remove the stroke if you've got it. And then again, we're going to right click on this and send it backward so that it gets all the way behind the $50. And then I'm just gonna scale it so that it fills the upper right hand corner of our design. So I just want that 50 to stand out a little bit. And then we're gonna nudge this up and there we go. Now the final item that we are gonna add here after I position this is we are gonna add a QR code. This is a really cool feature that we can fill with a frame and then you're gonna see it all come into action. So basically I just need to drop a frame here. This is where our QR code is gonna be. It's a URL for our website, which allows people to scan this. Let's go ahead and save this out. This is our target doc. We just have to design this one time and then InDesign is gonna do the magic by taking this across. So now I'm going to look at Excel and this is the beauty of Excel. We have our gift card numbers in here and this is auto-generated. I used a tool to auto-generate this gift card. 
from here, we're gonna look at the QR code as well. So I just have the two fields for this. We've got the gift card on the left. You need to make sure your columns are identified in Excel so that InDesign knows what these fields are. You can look at the QR code. We have a pound sign in front of the QR code URL. That's very important. That tells InDesign that this is a QR code URL. And when we drop it into our box, it's gonna generate that QR code. You also need to have URL and a colon in front of whatever the URL is. This is the formatting that you want to make sure that you are using. You do not have to use the same URL, but in this tutorial, we are using the same URL so that we are good to go with this. But you can use a dynamic URL for every gift card number if you'd like. Make sure you save this out as a CSV file and we are ready to bring it into InDesign. So now we go to Window and Utilities and bring up our Data Merge option. Then we are gonna go ahead and select our data source, navigate to that CSV file, open that up, and you will see that we've got our two fields ready to go. All we have to do now is click and drag them into the text boxes and the fields that we've reserved. So we drop in the gift card number, and then we drop in the QR code, and we could set preview to be able to look at this in action. Now our QR code is black, so I am going to want that contrast to be a little different so that we can scan that no problem. So I'm gonna select that and we're just gonna give it a white background. This just ensures that our QR code is visible and we can scan it. But you can see all of the data here is ready to go. I can cycle through my records and see that number is auto-generating for all of the gift cards we wanna create. Now we just have to create the merge document. We've got a few settings here. We do have multiple records that we wanna create and you can preview this, which I suggest because it does allow you to see that we wanna add some spacing here in our settings. So I'm gonna add some column and row padding just so it's a little bit easier to cut these out. And then I'm gonna decrease the top and bottom margins just so I can get as many gift cards as possible onto one sheet of paper. Now, if I had more than one, more than 10 gift cards, then InDesign's gonna auto-generate as many pages as necessary to create this document. So now we just created it and we have our finished merge here. So we have one page. Again, I'd have more pages to note my gift cards if I had more than 10, but now all that's left to do is go ahead and print these out. If I have a printer in house and I want cardstock, I can go ahead and print this. You can save this as a PDF and send this to a professional printer if you'd like to get more fancy, especially if you have business cards, you may wanna do that but it's entirely up to you now how you want to get these printed and use them. So that is the data merge feature of InDesign, quite the handy tool. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or run into any issues as you're going through this process. Please subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with the latest and greatest here at Design Like a Pro, and I will see you next time.